Tail Kicks. Hey, what's going on? This is Mike and you are watching Detailed Kicks. Today, we're checking out the LeBron Soldier 14 in the Lakers colorway. But before that, I would like to thank you for stopping by and if you liked this video, even just a little, hope you'd consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel as well. With all that sorted out, cue the intro. This is a real eye-catching colorway. We obviously have a mismatched colorway on our hands and this is in the Lakers purple and gold. Well actually the colorway is vivid purple and solar flare. Let's start with the upper. The majority of the upper is made with mesh and the mesh is quite thick which means that this isn't the most breathable shoe but the pattern really looks great. This has a sock type construction which means this is quite a chore to get into. Going to the laces and the lacing system. We have mismatched rope laces with mismatched lace locks. The lace locks both have gold LeBron logos. We have a standard lacing system but the majority of the laces are hidden so you can't do a lace swap on these. You can only adjust a few portions of the laces which is something that might bother some because you can't really tighten all the laces. So if you're a player who really likes to tighten up your laces this might not work for you if you can't tighten them using the exposed laces. The material that covers the laces is a neoprene type material which extends to the top of the sneaker. We also have mismatched Dunkman logos on each shoe. And on the top of the tongue, we have a debossed LeBron crown. The tongue has huge perforations which provides some airflow. The sides have panels that should allow airflow but they do not. At the back we have a rubber piece that rises up almost to the top of the sneaker and this functions as the heel counter. I would have liked this to go up higher and be a little wider but this will work. We also have mismatched swooshes on both the lateral and medial sides as well as mismatched pull tabs. Taking a look inside the sneaker, we have mismatched sock liners and insoles. The insoles are our basic ortholite insoles with dog tag prints on them. For the heel, we have a well padded heel which is quite comfortable and hugs your Achilles well. I like how the midsole is implemented on the sneaker. The plastic and foam piece on the lateral side rises up high which makes you sit inside of the midsole. This stabilizes your foot and prevents you from sliding to the side and outside the midsole when playing. For the outsole, we have extra durable rubber here which is good as this will last you longer even when playing outdoors. This is indeed a solid choice for all the outdoor hoopers out there. The traction pattern is very similar to the LeBron 17s which means that this has good grip. And of course we have a mismatched white and gray outsole on this pair. For the cushion setup, this is quite beastly. We have a 10 millimeter zoom air unit in the forefoot and a 13 millimeter zoom air unit on the heel and there is a small window on the heel to see the air unit too and one cool detail is the mismatched crowns on the air window the right shoe has purple and the left shoe has a gold one additionally the midsole is kushlon 
and all of those tech specs are actually listed on the outsole. For the fit, true to size is what I recommend, and if you have a super wide foot, you can go half a size up. I really love the execution on these, and honestly, this looks too nice to play outdoors. So it's either I use them indoors or for casual. And I hope they release this colorway on the LeBron 18s. What do you think? Do you like this colorway or is it too much for you? Let us know in the comments down below. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Mike signing off. Till next time.